Hi guys, it's Brittany. So I cannot believe it is 2020. Like what? It's crazy. If you saw from the title of the video today, I am going to be talking about 20 New Year's resolutions in honor of 2020. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I put together this list a few days ago. I was thinking of all of my New Year's resolutions and what I wanted to improve on, what I wanted to start getting into, and all of that good stuff. So I thought I would share it with you all. I have my list here on my phone. Side note, if you see this little bump right here, it's because when I was setting up for this video, the ring light literally hit me in the face. So that's where that's from, so... Yeah. Anyways, my number one New Year's resolution for this year is to start saving money and budgeting. So obviously that has always been a goal of mine, but this year I really wanted to get into it because I don't know, I've just haven't been saving like at all. I haven't really had I don't know, I guess I haven't really found a reason to start saving. I mean, I know you're always supposed to set aside money from your paycheck into your savings towards whatever you want. I think I've done a good job at budgeting, but I've always had enough money to like pay for bills and all of that, but I just wanted to get into saving, so that's why I wanted to improve on that. Because you never know like what you would need the money for and also, this year I'm turning 25, which is insane. First of all, I'm going to be a quarter of a century old, like what? But um, yeah, so I'm turning 25. I'm not gonna say that like, oh my god, I'm getting old, whatever, blah blah blah. I know I'm still young, but at the same time, I do need to, I don't know, start moving on and moving forward in life. So I did want to start saving for a house or a new car or anything honestly like any big purchase that I can see myself trying to buy in like the next couple of years I need to start saving like yesterday so that is my number one New Year's resolution saving money and budgeting uh, my second one is um, pretty much not I don't want to be like on that um, BS where it's like yeah I need to start working out blah 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 but I do want to start to change my lifestyle because for the past couple of years I haven't really been eating healthy my eating habits have been like horrendous um, I stopped dancing so that's taken another toll on my body so I haven't been doing as much exercise. I was barely at the gym last year like honestly I could say probably the amount of times I've been to the gym is like five times and that's saying a lot so I really need to start um, taking better care of my physical health and Another resolution also is my mental health. So obviously trying to um, not control really, well I guess control like my stress and anxiety. I do get anxious and I do get stressed out a lot. And I started noticing that when I started working at this new job. I started working there like April of last year. So it's been almost a year now, which is crazy. I don't know, I guess because like it was a big change from the, my previous job and this job now. So that's taken a toll on my mental health as well. So I did want to start um, trying to find ways to manage there, that's the word manage my stress and anxiety so that would be kind of my third new year's resolution another new year's resolution of mine this would be technically number four is to start getting more organized and decluttering is one too and being better at like scheduling events scheduling my days just scheduling in general. While I was looking back on last year, I think I was just mainly going with the flow, just living day by day, not really having like any goals set in mind. So I did really want to start pretty much like 
getting my life together i guess like organizing decluttering like being better about scheduling and being on top of that you guys can't see right now but my room is a hot mess so that's kind of like what i imagine like how my life has been going not that it's been like a huge mess but um i guess it kind of reflects in my room so like the fact that my room is a little unorganized a little messy i feel like that is a reflection of like how my life has been going so i do think i need to become more organized declutter a lot of things i have gotten rid of a lot of stuff and if you guys want to see like an updated room tour i can do that as well when i'm finished with it or if you want to see the process of me decluttering everything i guess new year's resolution number five would be to update my wardrobe i feel like i've been just having the same like basic style over the past few years and i did really want to get into updating my wardrobe i know like saying getting a new wardrobe would be like too much i guess for some people because you literally have to throw out all of your clothes and then like get new ones but that's why i wanted to update mine so i can keep some staple pieces in my wardrobe and then just get rid of things that i don't need like shirts blouses pants i got rid of a lot of pants and jeans and i wanted to really get into finding my own style i guess you can say so that's why i wanted to update my wardrobe and try to find a style that represents me i know i have like a bunch of different styles i mean number one athleisure is for sure my like go to um but i did want to start getting into i mean like I said, I'm getting older, so like it's time to update more my wardrobe. I can't just be like dressing how I would like if I were still in high school because I do still have clothes from high school. So I just kind of want to update that. So number six. This one is very important to me. Um, it is making sure I have me time. Like I said, I've just been going with the flow, living day by day but i did want to have more me time i guess i'm literally every day spending it with my boyfriend daniel and not like that's been a problem with me but i feel like i haven't been as productive as i can be i guess i just want to have some me time and like have days to myself where i do want to start getting into youtube more obviously because like last year i posted like one video literally and it was like towards the end of the year so i did want to start getting into youtube and um posting videos every week like i should have been and also just having time to myself literally just to do anything to run errands without having to think about like having to leave early or having to go somewhere afterward like hang out with anyone i just want to have like days to myself where i can have my me time i guess that was resolution number six resolution number seven this resolution is to do one nice thing a day my mom has always told me that since i was little which i appreciate so i also want to take that into consideration for myself and do one nice thing a day that could either be when i'm driving <laughs> um i have like extreme road rage not even gonna lie um so that can mean like stopping to let a pedestrian walk by, um, letting other cars pass in front of me, holding the door open for someone, anything, like literally anything. Do one nice thing a day for others. That is my resolution number seven. Number eight, I do want to kind of discover slash rediscover some of my passions because I feel like I haven't really been in tune with my passions and dance has always been a passion of mine but last year i feel like i just completely like threw the, it out the window to be honest with you this year i really want to start getting back into dance i don't want to join like a company or anything like that but i do want to start taking classes at least once a week last year i did not dance like at all which obviously is bad on my part but i freaking love dance 
I guess I've just been so unmotivated to um, take class or honestly to do like anything towards any of my goals. Um, so I really want to focus on that. I want to start rediscovering my passion for dance and rediscovering my passion for YouTube, which is why I'm here today making this is my first ever video for 2020, which is crazy. But yeah, I've been on YouTube for like, what, since like 2014, 15, like that. And I've only posted like 20 something videos, which is not okay in my book. But um, yeah, so I do want to rediscover my passion for posting YouTube videos and editing. And I love the whole process of doing it, but I feel like I've just been, I don't know, I haven't really had the right mindset to be taking on YouTube as like literally a career. Another resolution of mine is to focus on true friendships. So what I mean by true friendships is anyone who's close to me that I feel like will be around for a while. I want to focus on those relationships. So obviously Danny, my boyfriend, is my best friend, but I feel like I've been spending like so much time with him and not that that's his fault, that's also my fault because like he's very open and does not care if I like go out with my other friends or do anything by myself or like need like time to myself. He honestly has no problem with that but I feel like it's just been me like not having the motivation to do so. So this year I really wanted to focus on other friends I guess. Not like I'm going to just like forget about him, obviously, but I do want to focus on my friend relationships overall. Another resolution that I have is to take time off. I do want to take time off like from work and or like take personal days or whatever, but I just want to take time off and just like relax, just like throw everything out there the door like I just want to like have days to myself or with others that I'm just like not worried about work not worried about bills not worried about money not worried about anything else I, I just want to take time off that could be like a staycation go on vacation anywhere I know I am planning on going to Mexico again with Danny in July so that will be nice take time away from my life I guess you can say and then another resolution of mine is to find a side hustle I've kind of been getting into doing other people's makeup so that's been super exciting um, I've slowly been building up my kit I created an Instagram page just for makeup so if you wanted to follow me I do have the link down below in the description bar it's just at Brittany Buena makeup so my regular Instagram handle is at Brittany Buena but my makeup one is at Brittany Buena makeup so if you want to go follow that and then I'll post all makeup related posts I did want to do other people's makeup as my side hustle so I am a self-taught makeup artist so I'm starting to get into that so yeah on my Instagram page I do have a link to um schedule appointments and stuff like that and then I also have my email if you want to email to schedule appointments that way as well. Um, another resolution of mine is to seek culture and history so I feel like I haven't really been doing this like at all. Um, I've really been wanting to go to museums and explore and stuff like that but I feel like I haven't really been exposing myself to those types of things so I did really want to do that this year. I haven't been to like the field museum or science and industry museum in like forever literally years so um that's definitely a goal of mine for this year to expose myself to um history and to other cultures and yeah and to tie that in for my next resolution i did want to get into reading more books so i can't even recall the last time i have read a book honestly it's really bad but um i did want to start getting into reading more um i do listen to podcasts on spotify and stuff like that but i feel like it's very helpful and you learn new vocabulary and reading is really good for you so i definitely need to make it a priority this year to read 
books not just one um, but multiple so that is another resolution of mine the next resolution would be to limit unhealthy social media usage so obviously that's gonna be hard as I'm starting to get more into um, filming YouTube videos but um, I don't know I feel like I spend an unhealthy amount of time on social media I mean as I feel like most people do like I can always catch myself being on my phone and like not really even looking through social media it's just like a habit of mine to just go to my phone log into Facebook Instagram Twitter snapchat and honestly I'm not even doing anything I'm just like watching other people I don't know how that benefits me in any way yeah I just want to limit my unhealthy social media use my next resolution is to cook more I do cook every once in a while but I want to make it a priority in 2022 cook more because I do eat out a lot which is a problem which obviously ties into like having an unhealthy lifestyle gaining weight all of that stuff so I did want to start getting into cooking more I do know how to cook ish I'm not like anything fancy or anything like that but it would be very helpful that's another resolution of mine to cook more and another resolution of mine is to find an actual skincare routine last year I did subscribe to receiving Curology um, I'm sure you've seen it on social media so you um, sign up for Curology and you get a skincare bottle of a formula that is made specifically for you so you get that every two months and that's what I have been doing this past year and that has worked for me I guess in my opinion I didn't really see much of a difference as I do still have breakouts this is not a breakout that's from me hitting myself with the ring light but um, I do have breakouts still and it's been almost a year I feel like or maybe a little bit over six months I don't know um, that I've been using it and I wanted to subscribe to it I guess because I was having these weird skin texture issues and I wanted to see if that would help and it did get rid of some of the issues but it still didn't resolve like me having like breakouts and stuff like that um so I did want to find an actual skincare routine that works best for me. Another resolution of mine is to conquer a fear. I don't know what I had in mind for this, but I did want to have that as a resolution for this year. I guess I kind of need to think about it more. Maybe I could say I kind of conquered one on New Year's Day, literally January 1st. I went to the shooting range with Danny. Um, which was kind of scary. Not that I'm like afraid of guns or anything like that, but um, from movies I've always just thought that like if you shot a gun you'd like fly backwards and like one of those type of situations, but it definitely wasn't that. I guess you could say I kind of conquered a fear. Um, a lot of my resolutions are kind of tied into each other, so another one that I do have being more productive so like I said last year I don't feel like I did anything productive honestly so that kind of ties into becoming more organized decluttering um, and being better at scheduling so that would kind of tie into this resolution a super random resolution that I have is to limit my cursing I do tend to curse a lot like a lot a lot so I did want to kind of limit that and control that hello so I'm currently editing the video that you are now watching and I realized that the camera shut off while I was filming so I finished at New Year's resolution number 18. So it was 18 resolutions instead of 20, but I'm just going to end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be posting a video next week. So stay tuned for that, and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!